Hello, welcome back again to NX tutorial. So in this session, I still are explaining a same a case. It's about to create a motion simulation inside the NX. So in here we have a multi-body. It consists of so many parts in here. As you can see, it's a multi-body. It's not an assembly. Uh, actually, it's a study case. How to determine a minimum torque required to lift all this uh, assistance jack if we have 200 kilos uh, object above here and it push is because the gravity and create the weight about 2000 newton so let's go let's see in here we have a scissors jack the first thing we should do is create this first simulation is dynamic simulation and create the link now in here I want to create link. This is as a, actually as a base link, and I want to combine this uh, together as one link. In here also, this also one link. And then this is as as a separate link. Is also different link, different link, and the final. So we have in here. I want to rename it first. This as a base, so it's gonna make it me easier to looking for the base. I want to rename it. This as a shaft, screw, screw shaft. Okay. This is the stationary box, stationary, stationary, oh sorry, stationary, okay, why is that the new name, oh yeah, I forgot about to tell you, if I not if I separate this one it cannot be done the bad character the string so in any motion you must not separate all the all, all the letters all the numbers so this thing should be continuous you can see it here screw chef okay this one the moving Now in here, the final is the upper plate. Remember, no space. Okay. And then, I click some joint in here. Uh, Reflow joint. between this link and the base link uh, the origin a good place anywhere the factor anywhere along the axis rotation okay click this the factor uh, the base link is this part okay let me inspect first. Uh, you can see in here also. Have now also we're gonna create the same, but the base is the box. So the origin you can create anywhere as long as in the axis of rotation. Okay, we click also the same for this with the base origin we are put in here perpendicular direction okay so this this act as a base for both link it's like link the base link the origin the direction the action link 
the base link okay now I have one two three four five and six uh, okay one two here two three four five six okay so the next thing I should create also same we have for the join the action link the base link okay oh sorry it should be I have a base link okay I have eight level join in here I also should have a full join so actually gonna be nine like full join the base link in this part the origin origin is at the center the surface okay so the base is here the action is one now also I also want to create what is called a screw joint screw joint you can see there's a screw joint in here the action link is this part the base link is this part the origin I can use this shaft the factor is one in here okay you can see in here there's a screw ratio for this case I will give number 10 so the screw ratio is 10 click OK and now I want this part just only sliding into Z a, a direction so it doesn't any have rolling motion or something uh, make this screw jack uh, moving not like the actual condition so I will add some kind of slider join for this and it will sliding relatively to the ground so I will not check anything this just only give the factor can see okay now I have sliding movement relative to the ground I have a screw joint and I have all this uh, reflect joint and then the next thing is to fix the base the base as a fix in here and then I will create some kind of factor force going into the negative Z a direction minus 2000 so in here in the minus so going to reverse uh, from plus Z direction you can see in here I have a Z axis select the link this one link the origin so at the center is already at the center I click OK in here I have have a force minus 2000 uh, Newton uh, almost about 200 kilos and then in order to investigate how much the minimum torque required to lift that uh, that that mass or uh, the, the holding force in here, I will give rotation in here. So rotation in here. So I have I will using the driving force as a polynomial, maybe about two hundred degrees per second. I just want to investigate. And then I go to solution. Let's say second 500. Just click OK. You can see the Z direction here. Click solve. Okay. Let's check the animation. Now you can see Y is going to rotate. You can see right now the rotation is going reverse. So it means I have to reverse the the rotation how to reverse the rotation just click this part and then you go to factor you can use a right hand rule for this 
click in direction so now you can see the arrow okay let me explain one more time one more times you can see the arrow in here so when I click the reverse direction you can see they change change its rotation direction okay now let's go back again and simulate uh, click solve okay animation now you can see it slightly move okay so the rotation is correct uh, maybe I should edit a little bit so in order to make it move faster okay so need to change a little bit 10 seconds okay that's off still not enough time go back I'm uh, sorry go back to this solution 15 seconds because I want to know uh, the talk required uh, to make this link almost a vertical okay 15 20 seconds 20 maybe I should keep this but 200 so make it the solution a little bit faster okay okay I think it's enough so the movement you can see this is movement according to okay this is the movement now what I need to do is to create a grab in order to investigate how much the torque needed as you can see in here, I have joints, I have motion, as least um, uh, is uh, all the information you can get here. So I go to home, and here I go to XY result, the XY, XY view, you can see in here there's a, the appear. Now if I click this joint, for example in here, I give uh, the joint, right, I go to XY click this joint now you can see in here I get all the necessary value for this one I mean it's here we have absolute or uh, relative so I go to force in here like you can see it has a force magnitude is have torque magnitude I need this one so I click create grab object if I click that you can see in here it will add inside the XY graphic Okay, now also, I want to investigate relatively how much torque needed to move this part, this plate. So I go to link, this base link, oh no, no, I'm sorry, upper plate link, go to displacement, you can see we have a Z displacement, I right click, create grab object. So in here we have two two object that can be used as a as a grab so if I click one just only plot the window so this is the torque required for the, the 20 seconds in here you can see also if I pl plot this is the dis the uh, displacement between 20 seconds so in here okay now I want to combine all this what I should do to combine this is right click uh, store okay go to desktop maybe I put in here 
to epic I should need the name as a talk okay displacement store in the same file as the talk so it's like you input save with the in the same file and then go to xy function navigator use the fo we have a talk in here right click and then oh no in here here you can use it use uh, the control button choose both and plot xy now so i can see in here it combine both displacement and the talk and the software automatically create a scaling its own scaling so you can see in here we have a two grab combined together and if you can see the displacement in the blue color the torque in the red color we have the value the minimum value is this one in order to make it move for the for, for the beginning and also as you can see in here we have some point that intersecting uh, together these two grab you can see at the time like this one okay so let's investigate this correlated with the movement of this object so maybe i would make it a little bit smaller okay you can see we have a toolbar in here All right this are some kind of function in here now you can see you can add here so you can click in here if you want to find the value this value in here the wheel and also in here how much the value is this one okay okay click close now after when i click the result you can see in here it will create a real time to grab function okay so that's it for this tutorial uh, i hope it's gonna be useful for you thank you for watching